Hey, with Slipper Rock head coach George Mahalik, a 29-7 win over Edinburgh. Really a dominant performance on both sides of the ball all day today. Uh, your overall thoughts on the win? Well, it uh, you know definitely I thought our defense did a fantastic job. We had great pressure on, uh, on uh, the quarterback, and we created, I believe, five turnovers. So when you do that, it's going to give your offense some short field, and the offense took advantage on two of those turnovers, came up big. And then we got a, a touchdown on special teams. So when you have, uh, you know, special teams, offense, defense, all playing well, you know, usually a victory. And uh, it was nice to win again here at home. And you mentioned pressure on the quarterback. Edinburgh went with the backup quarterback, Jake Sisson, today. Uh, redshirt senior Cody Harris didn't start the game. That was really a big boost for your defense and an advantage for you really not having to face Cody Harris today. Yeah, hey, Cody Harris is an outstanding quarterback. No, no quarterback better at extending a play and keeping a play alive. So when you didn't see him in there, uh, you know, I felt that our, our front four could get a good pass rush and, and you know, create some sacks and, and get a young quarterback, uh, not give him a, a chance to really get confidence and get rhythm. And leading that pass rush again today, Marcus Martin, the redshirt freshman, three and a half sacks for the second week in a row. He broke the single season sack record already with at least two games to go in the year. Talk about the performance of Marcus again today. Marcus is just having an outstanding uh, year. <clears throat> uh, he, whether it's weight room, uh, film sessions, practice, game day, you're always going to get 100% effort from Marcus. And he, he doesn't say much. He just uh, comes to play and comes to work every day. And defensively as well, you got cornerback Admir Carter back, uh, top 10 in the country in passes defended this year, and he came up with two interceptions, including one on the one-yard line to, to thwart a drive. Talk about his performance. Well, we know Admir is uh, an outstanding cornerback for us, and it was good that we were able to get him back uh, because we knew Edinburgh would throw the ball, and they have some very good receivers. So with Admir stepping up and getting two uh, interceptions, that uh, one on the one-yard line kept him out of the end zone, and then his last one uh, gave the offense uh, good momentum to go in and, and score that last touchdown. And another big day from Shamar Green, over 130 yards rushing on the ground for him. Uh, talk about his form the last couple of weeks, really getting back to his yeah. form. Yeah, well, Shamar, he's just a, you know, a great runner. Uh, vision, speed, power, change of direction, good burst. But you know, let's give credit also to those guys up front because they're uh, giving him some, some seams and just get him into that second level, the linebacker level, and he can make things happen. Now, Jared Buck didn't turn the ball over today, threw for two touchdowns and more than 100 yards, but had to leave the game in the second half. Uh, nice to be able to go to a guy like Zach Newsock as your backup, a guy with starting experience and was able to lead the team. Talk about that, uh, what it's like to be able to go to Zach Newsock. Yeah, you know, we have great, we have two starting quarterbacks, and it's great to have that kind of depth. Not exactly sure the extent of Jared's injury, uh, but you know, with Zach Newsock uh, having played the first five games and, and winning five games for us, total confidence, and our offense didn't have to change at all. We uh, were able to run exactly what we wanted to. So I thought Zach, uh, you know, was practiced well, and uh, he was there today when we needed him. Now, a lot of question marks still as to what will happen in terms of the PSAC West division champion uh, moving on here. You know that if you win next week, you'll finish with at least a share of the PSAC West title for three of the last four years. Talk about what that means going into the last week of the regular season. Yeah, well, you know, this week will it'll be championship week uh, preparation because, uh, you know, I'm very proud of the program, what we've been able to, to put together these last couple of years. And, uh, you know, we still have one more to go, so we have to focus on that. But we know uh, with a win that, you know, possibly, uh, you know, we can still, we can be one of those co-champs. Well, congratulations, Coach. 29-7 victory today, and uh, good luck next week. Well, thanks, and a little out there to all the Rock Nation. Go Rock!